Nausicaa, I guess you're wrong about Kabe. I know! That's right everyone, I was wrong, Kabe wasn't a liar, and that's why I'm never going to be talking about previews ever again! Episode 37 of Dragon Ball Super dropped and we've now actually had a really good fight in this one. Saiyan versus Saiyan, or to give it its proper term, don't forget your Saiyan pride, Vegeta versus the Saiyan of Universe 6. It's just there between the coats, no, not there, there. Oh, look, do I have to come and help? So yeah, you know how I said about temperature puns? Well, we had Frost being cold and then Magetta being really hot and then we have Beerus and Champa going on about Oh, the atmosphere's hot! Oh, it's cold! Oh, it's hot! Oh, it's cold! When will they end?! But enough with the punnery, let's get on to the main event. Kabe versus Vegeta. Saiyan versus Saiyan. Who has the biggest ego? Or, no, no, that's not right. Um, the, 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 the biggest pride! Um... The biggest hair? Yeah, there's a lot of things to compare here. Pua got words! We actually get a little more exposition about Kabe and the Saiyans in Universe 6. They're referred to as the Warriors of Justice on the planet Sada. They are just pretty much the quintessential opposite. They are the refined Warriors of Justice. Whereas in the Saiyans of our universe, yeah, they're pretty much just brutal thugs that then found gadgets and pretty much just squandered them and were then bit enslaved by an evil dictator and Napoleon Emperor. Yeah, I'd rather be part of the Universe 6 lot now. We get more throwbacks as Kabe actually uses the same stance that Vegeta used to make and actually uses the garlic gun, so he actually knows some of his moves. Which actually just throws it into a lot of question. Well, how would you learn that? Is that part of just being a Saiyan elite in general? You know that attack? Does every single elite Saiyan know that move? Is it not as special as we thought? But then Vegeta basically tells Kabe, go Super Saiyan already. And up to now, we've always had that situation when Someone's holding back, they go, I guess I was holding back after all, you saw through my plan, oh well. <laughs> but no, Kabe actually can't. It actually takes Vegeta to pummel him into the dirt and then threaten to blow up his planet and kill his family to actually get Kabe to go Super Saiyan out of pride and not just bloodlust anger. Why would Vegeta do that? I mean, why would he actually make the fight harder for himself? Or... Is it reverse psychology? Is it... Oh... Oh, Vegeta, you clever booger. I like it, I like it! Very good, very sharp, Vegeta! Just like your chin! After this, we actually get quite a lot of scenes of Vegeta and Kabe duking it out really evenly in Super Saiyan form. And it's just amazing to see that actually Vegeta's not trying to do this to get him angry, it's to try and just make him show that he can be a better Saiyan and really be stronger and want him to surpass him. You know, Kabe being stronger than Vegeta, give him something to fight for, not just his family. But then we get Super Saiyan Blue. And speaking of Super Saiyan Blue, the name is now confirmed in the anime as well as the manga. So Super Saiyan Blue is here to stay. And when we get to Vegeta, he really is getting the treatment that he deserves. He has really grown up in the space between Z and Super. He actually bonds with Kabe and just says, don't just be a strong guy. Be stronger than me. I want you to become stronger than me. You deserve to be the best. Saiyans are meant to be the best. Don't forget that. And I like Goku, but come on, Vegeta. And it's like... This series is treating him well. And to have a character being treated well other than Goku is a win. Come on, you gotta admit. But then we actually get moved on to the next part of this arc. Hit actually making his appearance and not being like a purple piccolo. And that's where I'm gonna leave it because I'm not gonna talk about the previews because I was so wrong last time. <laughs> I don't hold any grudges or resentment. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I pretty much summed it up. This episode, really good. It was even better than the last one. It really built up on the strengths of that one and made it even better. Vegeta has got loads of character development. We've had the big fight of the Saiyans, and it was actually a really satisfying one. This episode, man, really good. Super has really gotten himself into its stride, and I feel like it can be really, really good. It had a very shaky start, and the fact is that it was being very unoriginal, but now it's actually starting to become its own thing. So I'm really happy about that. And I think he will be too. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in, and look forward to the next episode, episode 38. And I'm not going to talk about it anymore, because I'm not talking about previews. Anyway, be sure to subscribe and like this video if you like this review and wish to hear more. So until next time, guys, catch you later.